Hi there players, I'm Coach Eddie, this is my coach, uh, assistant coach Anna, and today we're doing a Tactical Thursday video where I'm going to show you how to use a specific serve. Wait a minute! A specific serve? <laughs> to win uh, some vital points in a match. Now, once more, Coach Anna does not know the concept of the serve, however, I'll give you a spoiler alert for you and for Coach. This is about a video that I've done in Borussia Dusseldorf. And it's a shirt, so if you want to know about the detailed surf, check the link down in the description where you can find the video of how to and uh, you can come back to this and watch how I do the surf. I have one more tip to you, is you're trying to make contact over here, that's where the ball goes, and then push it down like that, just completely down like that. When you reach this moment over here afterwards, you pull, like, you pull the handbrake almost, and you just go up like that, so when the ball connects, rolls, pull it up, and that will create that top spin kick to it. And yet, because you finish going forwards and started in the motion, is why you're going to keep the ball low and deceitful to look like it's backspin with side spin. See, that's where it is. Now, I hope you enjoy this angle so you can see where, the, where I place the ball and you can see how I uh, receive as well. Now, let's play up to 11. We're warmed up off camera. Let's play. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Lobby. Before you continue watching this video, make sure you check out the channel's equipment store, Easy Tabletons. You can find all your Tabletons needs, but if you can't, make sure to leave a comment and or email me what exactly you're looking for so I can help you assist best way possible. And uh, thank you for watching. So how about we put another cheeky code, U215, and use that for your future orders. And if you have any questions, leave them in comments down below or contact me directly. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Okay, we're not going to play a, a full direct match, first to 11. We're, um, let's just talk about um, how I use the serves tactic on winning the point. So, I figured early on that she likes to chop the ball from the middle half long with her backhand, and especially she does not want to open when it's long to her backhand. So that was, my, that was her control slash defensive area, while the opposite, the forehand, the flick went in, the counter went in, 
And so she is very comfortable in the forehand and in the backhand she finds a more controlled pace. And that is where I start using any tactical serve into that area. Maybe one in five or six serves I will go forehand half long or short or whatever to you know, give her something different. But my point will have to be serving up to here for her. I see from that side where the racket is all the way in there. Coach, what I was trying to do is I try to mix it up between half long to short and also give a bit of a side spin to top spin. I gave the first one, if you remember, short. She chopped and went to the net, which means that she thinks that the next serve that she'll have to go you know, more, dig into it more. But I reversed them. I gave more top spin, she chopped, the ball went out. It worked like a charm. Now, you can also do the serve in this leg over here. Again, she does not know what's happening, but this is the way you can also do the serve where I didn't. Long and then kill, right? Why? Because like I said, she likes to chop the ball. She now knows what I'm doing, plus she's more aware of what she needs to do in the backhand area. For that reason, that's when you can come in with the other serve, the pendulum serve. And this one, what you can do is give a half long with more side spin than back spin. Like so. Oh, she attacked it. Yeah, see? <laughs> now it's not as authentic as she knows what's happening. But in, the, in, another, in another setting, what you can do is this tactic over here. And you can use the same exact serve. But put the placement important over there. And this could be happening in the second set where she, your opponent picks out the, the attack and they start being more bolder. This is what you need to counter with if they want to attack. See that? I gave her in the pocket area long. And now, because she's starting more in the backhand area, yeah, that's what she should have done. She should have taken forehand. And I missed the first serve. But anyway, that's how you counter when a person is realizing that anything long in the backhand they're going to attack. Another tactic that you can use is doing this serve, or this placement with this serve over here. See what I did there? I just provided a very heavy size into the ball. Even though her chop was quite good in terms of the contact, the momentum of my serve popped the ball up higher, which gave me the chance to attack. Yeah, and that's the end of the video. Nice and quick, direct straight to the tactical points. Remember, even when you're losing, don't lose your cool. Keep to the plan, trying to play your, uh, your best, and of course, um, trying to make the, the correct decisions. Like you saw when the ball came into me, I attacked the first one, and then when the ball came back, back in the same position, I went and chopped it. So yeah, that was poor uh, decision. Trying to always keep playing your game. Uh, coach, sorry that I felt like I was bullying you because I was aiming for only the weaknesses, to, but that was just for the video. And yeah, if you have any more uh, questions or any more suggestions of the future videos, let me know down below. And remember, just play, have fun, enjoy the game. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>